Welcome friends to the video. Hope you are doing really good today. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about your DPDR has gone, but now it's come back. It's back and you're really worried. Why has it come back and what you can do about it? And so if you are new to the channel, then welcome. My name is Dan and I help people overcome their anxiety and their DPDR using coaching. And if you are a subscriber, then welcome back. And if you do wanna get in touch with me to chat about what you're going through and how you can recover, then please book a free discovery call with me and let's have a chat. And all the information for that is in a pinned comment and the description down below. So the absolute worst thing has happened to you. You have had DPDR, then you've gotten out of it, and now you've found that it's come back again. Or it could have been that it's gone and come back and gone and come back and you sort of had this like repeating cycle of it going and coming back. The whole thing of DPDR going and then coming back is actually more common than what you think. And often when I'm chatting to people one-on-one, -on -one, they will often say to me, yeah, Dan, like I had DPDR back when I was 25 and I had it for a year and then, you know, it just sort of went away for whatever reason. Um, and now five years later, it's come back again and it's really worried and my therapy isn't working, you know, and I want to know what to do about it. And I get that it can be really distressing. So let's get to the thing of, well, how did you actually get out of it in the first place? Can you think back to the time when you first got out of it? What did you actually do? And I'm guessing that the answer is, well, I didn't really do anything. I just got on with my life. And that's sort of the double-edged sword, I guess you could say, because getting on with your life is a big piece of the puzzle when it does come to recovering from DPDR. But the other side of that is that if you didn't actually consciously change anything when you were coming out of it, then it does have the chance to return. And the reason I know this is because I have never spoken to anybody who has said to me, yeah, Dan, I had DPDR, I really worked hard, uh, doing everything I needed to do to get out of it, and then it came back again. Not a single person has ever said that to me, but it, a lot of people, when it has come back, they've said to me, yeah, Dan, I just got out of it. I'm not sure how I got out of it, but now it's come back. So the reason it's come back is because you didn't specifically do anything to get out of it. So any underlying stress, any underlying anxiety or limiting beliefs or intrusive thoughts or bad habits or bad language, that internal language that you're using or, you know, or, or a number of all of these things hasn't actually been resolved. You know, it hasn't been processed. It hasn't been unpacked. The layers haven't been lifted off. You haven't really got a true understanding of pretty much what made you anxious in the first place. And why this is so important is because anxiety isn't a thing. You know, it's not a, just a, a, a thing. I don't know if I mentioned this in my last vid or not, but with anxiety, it's a collection of thoughts and behaviors. That's all it is. It's a collection of lots of different thoughts that sort of go on to create lots of different behaviors and all of that comes together to leave you in an anxious state. And so if you haven't worked on anything to sort of change those beliefs which aren't working for you or change those thoughts which aren't helping you or if you haven't learned to respond in a way to those thoughts and other things like that in a healthy and helpful way then it is possible that it can come back and that is evident in the very thing that right now I'm working with people where it actually has come back for that very reason. Now, for getting out of it in the first place, I do really, really applaud you because recovering from anxiety and DPDI is probably one of the most trickiest things you're ever gonna do. And the mere fact that you were able to have the courage and have the strength and be brave enough to just get on with your life, and that's what eventually brought you out of it, that's absolutely super amazing. So I want you to take that on board initially. And the second thing I'd like to, you to take on board is the fact that right now you have hope and that you can do it again. You know, so if you had anxiety and DPDR, then you got out of it and now it's come back again, you know that you can get out of it. You know, it's just a matter of time, but you can use this to your advantage. You know, like what have you learned in the past that you can use as feedback for right now? So for example, one of the things you could have learned from the past is 
Well, in the past, I didn't actually do anything to get out of it except getting on with my life and it's made it come back. Maybe this time I can take what worked and add onto it something else. So for example, you could say, well, I'm still gonna get on with my life, but also I'm gonna get help in actually understanding why I'm anxious and why I'm stressed. And that is really the key to recovery permanently, you know, is what is making you anxious? What is making you stressed? The actual issue has never been dealt with. And the, the problem with that is that if anything comes along again in your future, that could trigger you or it could remind you or it could make you stressed and anxious guess, again, then it's likely or it could happen that the DPDR and the anxiety will just come back again because you haven't learned any tools, any skills to actually deal with it in the first place. So that is why it's coming back. And that is what you can do to actually make sure that this thing is gone forever. The way that you recover and when you recover is really up to you. So right now, when you're at this sort of crossroads, I guess you could call it, then you can, you can sit there and wonder about what's happened. You can sit there and worry about why it's come back. Or if you aren't really sure about what to do or you're not sure where to start or you're not even particularly sure about what is making you anxious or stressed and how to respond in the correct way, then one of the things you can do is you can chat to me about it or you can go to a therapist, you can go to a psychologist, you can go to a counselor, you know, anybody that's going to be able to help you uh, process this anxiety and lift off the layers so you're really getting down to the root problem of what's going on. Because I'm here to tell you right now that what you think the problem is, isn't going to be the problem. And the reason that I know that is because it never is. And so my friends, I really hope you have gotten a lot of useful information from this video. And if you do have any comments, please leave them down below. And until next time, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.